The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene Law 2. Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. In Law 2 of Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power, the author explores the delicate balance between trust and strategic manipulation when dealing with friends and enemies. The overarching message is clear. Be cautious of friends, as they can quickly turn into betraying adversaries, and consider using former enemies who may prove more loyal. Historical Context Michael III and Basilius in the Byzantine Empire The law's narrative is illustrated through the story of Michael III, the inexperienced emperor of the Byzantine Empire in the mid-9th century. In a time of political turmoil, Michael, in need of a trustworthy advisor, turns to his best friend, Basilius. Despite lacking experience, Basilius rises to a position of power through Michael's favor. However, blinded by friendship, Michael fails to realize Basilius's ambition and is ultimately betrayed, leading to his own demise. Lesson from History the tale of Michael III underscores the importance of being cautious with friends and selecting enemies strategically. Basilius, a former enemy turned friend, used his newfound power to betray Michael. This historical example emphasizes the law's core advice. Choose friends wisely, be wary of their potential betrayal, and consider employing former enemies who may prove more loyal due to a desire to prove themselves. A fable. The snake, the farmer, and the heron. A fable embedded in the narrative reinforces the lesson. The story of a snake seeking refuge in a farmer's belly and later being betrayed by the farmer when seeking freedom serves as an allegory for the dangers of trusting friends too much. The fable warns against the potential betrayal, hidden beneath the guise of friendship. Interpretation The pitfalls of trusting friends too much. The narrative is supplemented by various quotes and interpretations, emphasizing the historical and psychological aspects of the law. From Baldessare Castiglione's warning against trusting too much in friendship to African folktales highlighting the consequences of misplaced trust, the interpretation reinforces the idea that the temptation of friendship can be a trap, leading to regret and downfall. Observance of the Law Emperor Sung's Strategic Moves in Ancient China The observance of Law II extends to ancient China, where Emperor Sung strategically dealt with potential enemies by offering them riches and security instead of eliminating them. Sung's approach demonstrates the power of turning potential enemies into allies through calculated moves, ensuring his rule was secure. Keys to Power Evaluate competence over friendship. The key takeaway is to prioritize competence over friendship in power dynamics. The law advises against hiring friends solely based on personal connections, as the hidden qualities of friends may emerge over time, leading to ingratitude and potential betrayal. Instead, work with skilled and competent individuals, keeping friends separate from professional alliances. Reversal, using friends for dirty work and as scapegoats. While the general advice is to avoid mixing friendship with work, there are instances where friends can be strategically employed. Friends may willingly take on dirty work due to their affection for you, and they can serve as convenient scapegoats if plans go awry. However, this comes at the cost of potentially losing the friend forever. Conclusion. Navigating the complexities of power dynamics. In conclusion, Law 2 advocates for a nuanced approach to friendships and enmities in the pursuit of power. Drawing lessons from historical examples and fables, Green advises individuals to be discerning in choosing allies, wary of trusting friends blindly, and strategic in utilizing former enemies. The law encourages a mindset that prioritizes self-interest and competence in navigating the complex landscape of power dynamics.